Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Everyone in China knows that China's semiconductor industry started late and developed slowly. In addition, under the influence of the concept of buying is better than making, it seems a bit backward overall. Especially in the chip manufacturing industry, most of them are concentrated in the mid- and low-end markets, while high-end chip production relies on foreign technology. So, how far behind is China's chip manufacturing level? This issue has not only been discussed by TSMC and ASML, but also recently a Japanese agency announced a survey result. Even Morris Chang could not have imagined that China's chips have improved so fast. ASML, a global lithography industry giant, controls about 90% of the lithography market share and can also exclusively produce high-end EUV lithography machines. Lithography machines play a decisive role in the advancement of chip manufacturing, so ASML can also be regarded as a role with a certain voice. Speaking of mainland China's chip manufacturing technology, ASML's new CEO Fu Kai once expressed his opinion that mainland China's chip technology lags behind the United States by 10 years, but the world still needs traditional chips produced in mainland China. Fu Kai may have his own reasons for making such a statement, which is nothing more than hoping to continue to sell mid- and low-end lithography machines to Chinese companies. In recent years, in order to prevent the development of China's chip industry, the United States has set its sights on ASML's lithography machines. First, it restricted the export of high-end EUV lithography machines, and last year it expanded restrictions on immersion DUV lithography machines. The scope of restrictions may be expanded in the future. Now, China's chip development is mainly based on mature processes, with an astonishing rate of capacity improvement, and the export volume and amount are also growing. This has also attracted the attention of the United States. Both the United States and the European Union have begun to intervene in the investigation and are likely to intervene. Faced with this situation, ASML stood up and spoke out, because Fu Kai's views are not objective and China's chip technology cannot be 10 years behind. For the chip manufacturing level of the mainland, TSMC should have a say. After all, TSMC is the leading company in the global wafer foundry industry and often understands the chip manufacturing level in various regions of the world, providing a reference for future competition. Morris Chang previously publicly said, that the chip manufacturing level of the mainland lags behind TSMC by more than five years. Morris Chang's views can be regarded as relatively objective, because TSMC has mass-produced 5 nanometers chips in the past two years, and Apple's 3 nanometers chips have also been launched this year. The advanced process of China's SMIC is still at the 14 nanometers and 12 nanometers level. Of course, it's not that China has not made efforts, but there are reasons. In recent years, the progress of SMIC's chip manufacturing technology has been obvious, especially after Liang Mengsong joined. It took only more than three years to achieve five eras of technology development. From 28 nanometers to 7 nanometers, ordinary companies take more than 10 years, 
but Dr. Liang led the team to get it done in just over three years. However, the technological blockade of Western countries, especially the chip restrictions imposed by the United States, has hindered China's access to high-end EUV lithography machines, resulting in China's delay in achieving mass production of 7 nanometers chips. If not, China's gap may be smaller. There is new news about China's chip manufacturing level recently. A professional semiconductor analysis agency in Japan found through investigation and research that the mainland's progress in the semiconductor field is very fast and has caught up with TSMC's level three years ago. Japanese institutions compared Huawei's flagship mobile phone processors, Kirin 9000 and Kirin 9010. Both chips were designed by Huawei's high silicon semiconductor, but Kirin 9000 was manufactured by TSMC's 5 nanometers process before being sanctioned in 2021. The Kirin 9010 is the product that Huawei's mobile phones will be equipped with when they are launched this year. It is completely produced domestically and has been verified to be a 7 nanometers process. After comparison, Japanese institutions found that the performance of the two Kirin chips is almost the same. Although there may be differences in yield in terms of performance, the mainland's chip manufacturing technology is only three years behind TSMC. The Japanese report shows that Huawei Pura 70 Pro is equipped with 37 major semiconductor devices, of which High Silicon Semiconductor designed 14 and other Chinese manufacturers designed 18 which means that the proportion of semiconductor devices manufactured in China has reached 86%. From these data, it can be seen that China's chips are not only the production capacity of mature processes, but also have achieved major breakthroughs in advanced semiconductors. The head of the Japanese agency, Yoji Shimizu, said that the U.S. chip restrictions only slightly slowed down the progress of mainland chips, but actually stimulated the development of the mainland semiconductor industry, and the progress of Chinese chips was faster. When Morris Chang expressed his views at the time, he probably did not expect that the progress of mainland chips would be so fast. So he suddenly expressed his support for the U.S. to impose chip restrictions on China in an attempt to slow down the development of Chinese chips. However, this is obviously futile. Because China has completely awakened and is determined to unswervingly achieve the independence of domestic chips.